I don't know how to even say this. But I will first start off by saying I am not a thin person at all. I'm not. Look. See? Look. Okay. And I'm okay with that. I'm about 189, 192, 185 on a great day. And I'm 5'7". <sighs> this woman, Whitney, from my fat, fabulous life. I just watched an episode. And I want to watch this scene with you guys. I, wa I want to show you this scene. Here. I just want to know like, how people get good at this. What? Huh? What? Huh? Huh? Nothing. All right. Hey. Whitney was having a hard time just walking. That's really disappointing for her. Turned out that she was actually in immense pain. I wanted to tell Whitney that enough was enough, um, but that's something she has to decide on her own. Ow, 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 honey, I need you. Oh, honey. Huh? I need you, baby, please. What? Honey, I need you to get me out of this. All right. Uh, my left one. Left one? It doesn't matter. Just get me out of one of them. All right. Help me. I'm, help me. I'm about to injure myself. Please well, help get me. Your, pull your help left me. foot help out. Help me. I can't. Honey, I need you to lift me up. Like, get behind me and lift me up. And if one of you could stop filming and help me, that would be good because I'm about to hurt myself. Are you going to sit on the ground here? I'm about to hurt myself. I'm serious. I need to get up or out of this thing. Ow. It's killing me, it's killing me, you please. Can... Please! No! You guys, I'm... Please! Please! I kind of feel helpless because I'm not strong enough to just pick her up and kick her skis off. So I'm kind of worried. No, I can't. I'm gonna go. It should be popped. You can move it. Okay, just get down. Just get on your knees. I can promise that I'm not a wuss. I don't like to not be able to do things. I don't like to give up. So if I say that I'm having a hard time with something, I'm really having a hard time with something. I need to get these off my feet. The boot going into my shin uh -uh. feels like it's about to snap my shin in half. I mean, it is an awful pain. I'm pressing up against my bone. Okay. So hard in it, and I put pressure on it, and it's like my bone is about to break in half. What? Well, it my, sh my shins, I just need to get these uh, okay. boots off. Thank you. There was a feeling of impending physical injury and I was terrified. And I was scared. Like I sorry. thought my leg was about to snap in half. I, I, never, I never used to think that Whitney pushed herself too far, but maybe this time she did. I felt bad for not being able to help her. I don't like that when I'm helpless. When I'm lying in the snow, I can only think about how scared I am and how disappointed I am because I've spent so long like trying to make myself believe that i could do anything i want to do and like this is something i couldn't do and i know that if i want to do like <clears throat> everything i really want to do then maybe like something has to change and knowing that there's a heart problem like this shouldn't have been strenuous like i thought this would be easy and it feels like i'm like proving everybody else right So, that's my thing. As in, something needs to change for her. Right? That she finally needs to lose weight? What everybody's been telling her for I don't know how many years? How, how many years have people been telling her that because of her health, she needs to lose weight? She's fainting doing a, a dance in the in the previous episode she she was doing a dance off and she fainted 
she has to see a cardiologist because they think maybe there's something wrong with her heart. Now, at what point, regardless of your age, okay, mind you, she's like a 30, 33-year-old woman, my age, okay? Now, we're not young, but we're also not old. And I know that I have limitations. I probably couldn't even have stood up on those skis. I'm just saying. So props for her, seriously. And I know I couldn't have danced as long as she did in that previous episode. But at what point do you start to say, my life, my health is being affected by my choices that I'm making impulsively by eating. Wait, I have a perfect example, right? Mmm, Pop-Tarts right here, you know? Drinking mm, Gatorade, you know, with that shitty sweetener that's definitely not good for you. And you know, I have other, oh, here we go, see look? Gummy bears. So, I have no reason to say anything negative about this woman. Because I, myself, am not the poster child of health. But I just have to ask myself, and I have to ask other people, at what point do you finally say, stop eating the bullshit. Stop sucking down the sodas and the pizza and the ice cream and everything else. Stop. She had a couple moments that would have made me say, stop, just within an hour and a half of watching this. What, like, so what, two episodes? That would have made me stop. It disgusts me. And I'm not one to judge. It's not her weight. It is not her appearance. It is not her health. It is her decisions that disgust me. Hate me. Hate me and call me a hypocrite and call me a fatty and call me anything that you want to call me. But if I was her, I would be disgusted with myself and the choices I was making to put myself in a situation like that. Repeatedly. Repeatedly. And then like one more time. And then I'm finally going to break down. You know, after I already knew there was something wrong, I'm going to break down and finally say, I think something needs to change. At what point do you stop? That's all I want to know. At what point does the human mind, the psyche, the soul, our decision-making process, at what point is enough enough? That's all I want to know.